All right, welcome to the video. Uh, as the title is gonna say, yeah, the new framework event was mostly everything we asked for. Uh, the only thing really missing was that uh, OLED panel I wanted. I think a lot of us wanted, so. Well, let's uh, just go over the little press release here together and uh, talk about it. All right, yeah, let's uh, talk about the new stuff. Uh, let me see. So yeah, the first off we get, when, when all this comes out, it'll be basically a two-year upgrade cycle. And I think that's fine. That's, nobody should upgrade their consumer electronics every year. Even every two years, I would stretch it. Uh, I wouldn't do that either. Yeah, so far, new, we got new processors. They're the current generation Ryzen AI 9 370. That's the big 12 core. Uh, there's an eight core. I think it's a Ryzen 7 HX 350 to start. Before, on the current framework, the only thing we ever had was two 8 cores to choose from. It was like a 100 megahertz difference was all. So this is an upgrade. Yeah, a much more bigger difference between the two chips anyway. Uh, you'll know if you need 12 cores in a laptop. Uh, I'm not sure this has the cooling capacity to even bother with 12 cores, but that's up to you. It is a premium. I think it's like a $300 premium for the bigger chip. But that's up to you. As a current owner, uh, I'm not going to do it. Mainly because of this AI. I don't want AI in my in my computer. And I'm on Windows. I suspect if you're running Windows, the moment you put that new motherboard in, uh, it's going to try to install all that Windows spyware, the Copilot and Recall and, and all that nonsense. I don't want it. If you're running Linux, probably not an issue. should be able to delete that entirely from a, from a Linux distro. But, yeah, two new processors, current generation stuff. The big surprise, I think, was the graphics. We now have the option for an NVIDIA 5070. And according to... It's an 8-gigabyte GDDR7. And according to ours, it is roughly the equivalent of a desktop 5060 Ti. So you can probably look that up if you want to know about performance. Same die, same amount of memory... I think it's almost the same CUDA cores, things like that. So that's the performance you should expect. Obviously with NVIDIA comes better upscaling generally and ray tracing capabilities. So if those are things you want, yeah, you'll know which one to get. They're not deleting the Radeon card that's going to stick around, so you'll have, you'll have two options now. That's, that's great to see for consumers. You can choose which one you want. Uh, I don't Again, it's not something I'm going to bother with on a two-year cycle. My plan right now is get in on the next jump upgrade for the next cycle, if they do it again in two years. Probably buy a new GPU and a new battery. I would. I don't think I'll bother with a CPU unless I switch to Linux by then, but I don't want AI. But there it is. Uh, again, really surprising that they actually NVIDIA cooperated and, and worked with them on that. Yeah, the, so the second generation laptop has some better cooling. If you buy one of those new GPU modules, it should have this cooling. I believe they even said the AMD's card will have the better cooling as well. Uh, for me, the most tempting thing is going to be this new charger. Because currently the laptop will drain, even when plugged in under heavy load gaming. With the 180 watt charger, this will solve that problem. That NVIDIA card runs at a 100 watt TGP as well. So yeah, you're gonna, you'll probably want that if you're gonna go with NVIDIA. It's only an issue on heavy demanding games, little stuff. It doesn't affect, it'll still charge. I believe memory capacity is still the same, up to 96 gigs. Still using SODIMM. I know there was some desire for CAM modules, but maybe, maybe in a third or fourth gen they would do something like that. I, I, CAM modules are much bigger. They would have to redesign the board and probably the chassis and then have, obviously that would break upgradability compatibility kind of things display it, it got g-sync it's not really anything to bother with like an, unfortunately like i said no oh no oled panel but the lcd yeah it's good good resolution high refresh rate that might be a reason to buy that new gpu if you really want to hit that 165 hertz 
Yeah, nothing. They didn't mention anything new about uh, audio quality or speakers, which, yeah, it's kind of a sore point. It's not the best audio experience. There is a jump to Wi-Fi 7. Uh, it is a, it's a module. You can upgrade the current one if you want. Yeah, some interesting community module. It's the first time I'm seeing that. E-Ink prototype. <laughs> yeah, it's a big community. The, yeah, we can go. The charger is kind of interesting. That 240 watt charger is listed at the same price as the 180 watt charger. $109. That's the 180 watt one. If we go back up, let me see. As cool as you can filter this by like the stuff that's coming. And you can see the prices on some of the stuff too. Let's see. Yeah, so there's the DIY price, fifteen hundred. But yeah, they already have the new motherboards listed, so if you just want to buy that new processor. There you go, 750 versus 1050. So that's a $300 bump to get that 12 core. But then, yeah, so there's that 240 watt charger listed at the same price, which is kind of strange, but I don't know, maybe, maybe they just got to adjust it still or lower the other one. Uh, regardless, uh, yeah, there's that, what that NVIDIA card would cost you on its own. So 700 bucks seems like a lot. It's not, I mean... The only way to upgrade your graphics is to buy another laptop, and that's, according to various forum posts, that's something like 1500 bucks for a, a laptop with that graphics card in it. So, if you don't have the module to begin with, yeah, that would kind of be a no-brainer to buy that one over the AMD card. It's a current gen. It's going to last you longer. And it comes with ray tracing if you're into it. Uh, it's not something I... I've never experienced ray tracing in person. It's not something I really need. Or I don't know why that I need it. The only way I've ever seen it demonstrated is by a character standing still looking at <laughs> looking at reflections and shadows. But that's not how I play a game. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving around. And if the game is compelling and interesting enough, I'm not stopping and staring at, you know, the smell of the roses. I'm playing the game. But they are keeping... The entry price uh, is lower. They're keeping this, this essentially the configuration I have, the 7840, and it's going to be down to 1300 instead of that entry level 1500. So you can get in a little cheaper. I would assume you can pick this chip, but still get that Nvidia card. It should be. A, I would hope it's a little cheaper if you choose it at configuration instead of buying it separately from their store. Uh, yeah, that's uh, so far what we've seen. Pretty darn good, except that new display, maybe one day, I hope. They are working on some other other pieces here, actually, which... So right after the event, they had this video came out. And this is actually really cool to watch. He talks about various things that they tried that didn't work. Like right here, he's talking about a full-length touchpad, so there's no of those little spaces on the sides that people were kind of complaining about. They're still working on it. I guess it hasn't worked yet. But he talks about why they haven't done the translucent bezel. A few other modules, like a track point module, uh, like, a, like a Lenovo is famous for. They're working on it. Not yet. It's a depth and clearance issue, he mentions. Uh, the most interesting one is what to do with your old graphics module. Now that they're having one come out, if people buy it, you know, you got an old one sitting around. They don't want you to just throw it in a, in a landfill. So as he mentions, they're working on... They were working on an external graphics enclosure for it. Uh, apparently, it's just going to be too expensive to make it tempting to buy. So, but they're still working on it. Uh, I'm sure they'll come up with something. Obviously, when they introduced new motherboards for the 13-inch model, they teamed up with, I think it was Corsair, for a little case. You could drop that old motherboard in a case, and you got a whole another computer to reuse and or give away and... Hopefully, uh, they can come up with something like that for their graphics modules that people are going to be replacing. Yeah, this is kind of what we've been waiting for. I'm, I'm glad to see it. They now have a track record of supporting the bigger 16-inch one. If it's every two years, I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to 
seeing what people think of the 5070s and I don't know, these new AI chips don't interest me, but yeah, it looks like a good future ahead. They are, obviously the price went up, but that's, uh, that's just two years of inflation tariffs and capitalism. You know, if there's a big tech company that's going to profit off of me and, and get my hard earned money at the end of the week, I would, I would give it to Framework. Uh, I think they've earned it. I like their mission. I like what they do. Yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, good event, like I said. Everything we wanted except that OLED. You've got now, if you were waiting to jump in, uh, good job waiting. I hope you didn't buy something last week before the announcement came out. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great time to jump in. Uh, you've got now a current-gen processor and current-gen graphics. Price is, yeah, went up a little bit, as to be expected, but it's been a good machine. My plan is to wait, just as a current owner, I would wait uh, another two years for the next upgrade cycle, if they can pull it off again. I would go with a new graphics module and a new battery. This one would be four years old at that point. It still, still seems to be working great, but yeah. In the meantime, maybe I'll pick up that 240-watt charger. That's would be pretty helpful in gaming. I would just like to have another one around, keep one in the in the house, one in the backpack. They do come with the, you know, end cables, the part for the wall, part for the laptop. They come with it for that 109. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you decide to pick one up, if this, you know, was this the event you're waiting for to see if they would support it and, and how. Yeah, thanks for watching.